Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Hypixel Guide. Today, we're going to be talking about house settings and permissions in groups. Now house settings, we'll be talking about every single little thing in house settings like PvP damage settings, house tags, plot size, house name, because right now it's the default name which is Orange House, and yours would probably be like that too. So we're going to be talking about some importing housing, housing things. So. Let's get right into it. Okay, now I'm going to start off with house settings. Now in house settings, there are regions, time selector. So if you click regions, it'll say no regions. So if you want to create a region, what you do is you right click the nether star, Housing menu, click Pro Tools, and click Region Selecting. Now, I'm definitely going to go more in depth later. So what you do is you get a block, you place a block somewhere. Like, I'm just going to do this. One here. One here. Now I'm going to left click one block, right click one block, stand in between in the region. Go back to house settings, regions, create region. I'm just going to name it hello chat and when you enter it, when you press add action paper, it'll send a chat message which last episode when we talked about items, we talked about all these actions. So make sure to go back, I'll link it in the card above. And Another thing you can do in regions, which I didn't talk about last episode, um, exit actions, and PvP settings. In PvP settings, they die, you can keep the inventory. You can make it really instant respawn. Kill death messages, if they're in the region, they die, you can turn it on or off. Now global setting is whatever you select in house settings. PvP, if it's on or off, you can make it on only in this region. Double jump, that's pretty good for PvP. I don't recommend it for most though. Fire damage, fall damage, poison wither damage, suffocation, which is if gravel falls on you, will you die? So that's regions. Now if you test it out, into the region. So see, the region is start here. So see if I'm here, no chat message. But if I go inside the region, there. So next is time selector. Which is just like its name, it's really not much. Very simple. You click each one of these to change the time. For a more specific time, slash time. Slash time 7. And slash time 8, 9, etc. But only use that for a specific time, or you just want a shortcut. Because these only go in threes, like 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, max players, well, just as it says his name, max players. Now, 115 is just if you want it like a short thing. Friends, 15 and 30 are just like if you want friends to do it. But 90, on the other hand, is a lot. 125 and then 150. So if you're doing a, let's say, parkour and or PvP, I highly recommend the top. If I'm correct, if you have a YouTube rank, which I don't, um, you can set the max players, I think, to like 300. It's a lot, but it's only for certain houses. Now, the house name is an important part. So, as you see over here, here's a house name. So, now if I change it, like, let's just type in this box. House name. And then you click this last paper. Don't click this one. This last paper... Take a second update, but there it's updated. Now let's go back. Now I can actually use color codes like A and A, house. Which A and A is green, but. Okay, rename it the tutorial house. 
because this is for the tutorials. Now in house settings, plot size. Now if you hover over this and you basically just got started in housing, it will cost mystery dust. The higher rank you have, like VIP plus, it'll cost less. Then MVP plus, it'll cost less, but what will cost less? Well, you have to have mystery dust, which how do you get mystery dust? Well, you go to the lobby and you open boxes, like, you open all the boxes and if you already have an item, you'll get mystery dust. Or if you collect the daily reward, you'll also get mystery dust. House tags. You don't know what those are? Well, when you right click this, when you view houses, you can see things here. Now, players can view by a tag, like, they want to only do a building house, they can view by that. They only want to do an event tag. They can do an event. Now let's go to tags. You can change it to anything. Like let's say your house is roleplay. Roleplay is just a build you explore. So click this to enable. Which mine, I'm just going to enable general. It's a tutorial, so. Next is house language. I highly recommend selecting whatever language. They support 16 languages. So your language is most likely in here. Which mine's English, I'm gonna select English. Cookie jar, you can't click it or anything, it just shows how many cookies it has. Parkour announce, if you have parkour, which we made last episode, I'm gonna say I start the parkour, go here. See right there, it announces it. If I go over here, Click this, current mode off. Now, see, it doesn't announce it. Which that's good in most plays. So there's three modes off, record if they break, break a time. I mean, record. What am I saying? But record, record. If the player beats the record, then they'll show. But. That's what I recommend leaving it at. Now, messages off or on. That are only join or leave messages. I'm gonna turn that on. Save player states if they're right here. They leave and join back. Do you want them to be right there? Well, click this if you do. Door fence auto reset. I'm gonna turn that on. Like, let's see, you have a door. Let's put a door here, a door here, and let's get two fences. Now I'm going to see if you open it and close it, it works, but if you're in social mode, say you are a visitor. So if I open all these and you're a guest, they'll all close automatically, because they'll auto-reset. But the reason they don't auto-reset immediately is because they, have, they give you time to go through. Go back to build mode. So that's what that does. The statuses, if if you're MVP plus or plus plus, you have an option to use statuses like my build batter score is blah blah blah. And you can turn that on. PV feels damage settings. You can turn PvP on or off. When you turn it on, that means it's on in all regions where you just select like let's go back for a second. Regions, hello chat. If you select, just use global setting, if you turn PvP on, then it'll be on in that region. If you turn it on and then turn PvP off in the region, it'll be off only in that region. Double junk, we talked about all these earlier, but we didn't talk about the layout. The layout editor, if it's a PvP house, like PvP's on, they'll start out with all these. Any armor you put here, um, the armor will automatically, automatically go on them. That's how settings. And next we'll be talking about permissions and groups. And now permissions and groups. Now for permissions and groups, um, you can select like, it starts off a guest, resident, co-owner, and owner. Now let's say if you want to create a new group, you click here, which that's what we're going to do. So if you create a new group, let's name it, I don't know, kangaroo. 
If you click rename group, you can rename it, which... That's how you rename it. Changing tag, well, like so, so you can a hello. See how the tag, like right before my name, if they be plus plus, it'll say owner. If you go to permissions and groups, the permissions, change tag, And let's say you change it to king. It'll in parentheses say king. And if you change the color, let's say you change it to red, change it to red. A kangaroo, I'm just gonna change it to brown. Okay, the priority. That's what order, like this priority one, it'll be here, two, be there, three, four, five, six, so on. Plus, whatever priority, when you're changing a player's perm by the nether star, it'll pop up first. In permissions, let's talk about this. If you turn fly on or off, you know, you can't fly. With door, if you turn off wood door, that means if you try to open a wood door, it'll close immediately and you cannot travel through it. Same for iron door, wood trap door, and wood iron. And iron trap door, fence gate, button. Now slime, like if you use slime pads or launch pads, um, well, if you don't know what they are, we talked about this in the last video items, where we talked about items. Again, I'll link it in the card above. And TP, they can TP to other people. The TP others, that means they can do slash TP, like let's say TP Minor Man Douglas to another player, for example, Build Over. Jukebox, whether they can use the jukebox or not. Like the jukebox is right here. If you're VIP or buff and you turn that permission on, they can use the jukebox. Depends on if you want them controlling it or not. Kick, ban, do not turn this on except for trusted people. Same from you. Chat slow. I highly recommend, even though it's just one, change it to slow one second or two seconds. Three seconds, maybe, but people probably get mad. Pet spawning, whether they can spawn their pet, which doesn't include a charged creeper, but no, cre creepers don't explode if you have a pet creeper. Fluids, if they can place fluids, do not turn this on, because this is what they can do. If they have a water bucket, and let's say they have to do this. If they have a water bucket and then they have a gas spawn egg, here's what they can do. They can seriously spawn gas. See? So I repeat, do not enable that. Because then you have to kill all the gas. And sometimes they spawn hundreds. Hundreds, no joke. And I repeat, if you're in a free build, just be nice and don't do that. And also, same for building permission, which I'll talk about in just a second. See if they have ice. And they're in such a game on survival. They can actually make water, so make sure they're in creative. Basically, turn off fluids and make sure they're in creative, and no gas can spawn. Turn fluids off, make sure this is disabled. Turn build on and um, right click and left click just to go backward and forward. Turn on creative. And turn off switch game mode, and they can't switch it to survival. Item editor, if you turn that on, and pro tools, pro tools are these, which we'll talk about a lot later building. Like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this. And slash edit is the last thing. If you do slash edit, you can edit an item. Like right now, this is an oak door. Just game of creative. 
So let's say you have something. If you slash edit, instead of cocoa beans, you can rename it. Like for example, like minor beans, and edit lore. What lore is 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 basically the lines be below. See, these are for miners. Eat them if you dare. Enchantments for non for non PVP items just really enchantments do nothing except make it like that. But if you put it on a sword, it'll do like protection or sharpness, just more damage. Go in the Minecraft Wikipedia. I'm planning on linking the linking in the description, and you should find something there. Also. Um, there'll be timestamps in the description, and if you want to, if you just skip to this part, make sure to go to house settings if you want to view some of those. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.